this is what you want to accomplish by the time that you turn it in. So um, keep this in mind. So this is the finish, finished product, okay? And let's go ahead and get started, okay? So let's go ahead and open up the actual file. This is the file, file name. Just hit open. Click through the uh, continues and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, arrange it so you can see it. All right. And to start off, we're going to use the uh, move function. Okay. So just type in move. Select that uh, bin there. Hit enter. Uh, just uh, select that little endpoint there. Drag her out. And we want to go uh, magnitude of 24 and uh, just to slide it on over there, okay? The next function we're gonna do is copy, okay? We wanna copy this conveyor belt here, hit enter, and just uh, select that endpoint there, move it over, and uh, we wanna be at, I believe, 26. So just uh, type in 26, and uh, there you go. And just hit, uh, hit escape to go ahead and do that. The next thing that we're going to do here is uh, copy this uh, lathe unit here, um, and we're going to put it over on the posts there. So just hit copy, type copy, whatever. Go ahead and select the object, hit enter. And since we want to attach it, we want to attach it to right here. So just take this endpoint, hit enter. And make sure it's attached to that endpoint. Click the button and click the button. Exit or escape, sorry. The next thing that we want to do is move this part over to here in a similar fashion. So just hit move. Attach that point to here. Splendid. The next thing that we want to do is we want to do a funny little thing that uses, minimize this here, let's go to drafting. We want to use this function here. It's called rectangular array. Alternatively, you can type in array rect, array rect, okay? What we want to do is just select, and basically this is just copying it and uh, making it nice and fancy. So just select the things you want to copy, hit enter, and we want to hit the down arrow and hit count, okay? And enter the uh, number of rows. We want one row, the amount of columns, three columns, hit enter. We want to also go, come down here to spacing, hit enter, and let's see, appropriate spacing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed that up. I included this little extra leg there. Um, so, sorry. Let me redo that again. Okay, so just select this, select this, select this, enter, and come down here, count, one row, three columns, and come down here to spacing. Alternatively, you can also type it in. And where do we want to line this up at? I believe it's 52. Let me double check real fast. All right, yes, it is uh, 52. Okay. And just hit enter to accept. Hit rectangular array again. Hit select that and select that enter and then again come down here to count number of rows one um, number of columns oh I'm sorry hold on a second Oop, no I'm sorry okay let me back up then the number of rows that we wanted was two enter down to count, number of rows, two, um, number of columns, one. All right, come down here, 
then we're at, I believe, exactly 60. So just type in negative 60. All right. Yep. Okay, so it should have been positive 60, I suppose. So that's fine. What we can do here, let me zoom out, is just select that. And we'll go ahead and get this bad boy here. Come down. And um, so I'm just bringing this down here. And I believe it'll automatically, yeah. So you just, I, I just went the wrong way with it. So, um, so instead of putting up there negative uh, 60, I just, all we want to do is now the explode function comes in. So hit explode and that dissociates everything. And then uh, trim, you can type it in or hit the, um, whatever you want and hit the ones that you don't want to be deleted, hit enter and then the stuff that you do want to be deleted. That was highly annoying. Interior. What is going on? Okay, let me see if, oh, okay, that's what didn't explode. All right, now we got it to explode. There we go. All right, trim function, enter the stuff that you, sorry, trim the stuff you don't want to be deleted. Um, if you did that, like I did, just control, uh, shift, I believe. Yeah, shift will deselect it for you. Hit enter, and then you should be able to, Okay, I guess the trim function doesn't want to work for us today. So, just did the good old-fashioned delete. So just highlight um, and delete this. Oop. Delete this uh, extra extra garbage here. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is duplicate this right here. So we'll go ahead and do the same type of thing. Rectangular array. Select the object. Hit enter. Come down here to count. So how many rows? Two rows. Hit enter. Uh, number of columns. Three. And the actual spacing, you want to come down here and hit spacing. So spacing between the rows, that's what we're looking for right here. Uh, spacing between the rows will be 20, so just type in 20. And then spacing between the columns will be negative 24. Let's see how that works. Okay. That right, looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and hit enter on that one. Okay. Now what we want to do is go ahead and, um, this is kind of hard to read, so I'm going to put it up there, put it up there, and we are going to be good to go. So uh, let's, let's, let's change this, edit, let's do space one, and let's go ahead and, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and move this a little bit. You know, so all I did right there is just kind of back it out just a little bit. All right. Um, the next thing to do, um, yeah, we'll do the same sort of thing here. So type move, hit enter, and let's see here. What do we want to do? Do point there. Bring that up. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing here. So what you can do is just kind of make sure it's attaching and then extend it out to about 
I think I wanted four on that one. And that'll set it pretty good. So same type of thing, move. Let's zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. Enter, and where did I want it? I just selected this sort of arbitrarily. I didn't like that point. Let's do that again. Yeah, we'll go up to this one. Alrighty. Bolt onto this and then extending it out. This is a technique that you're going to use all the time in CAD or in uh, Solid Edge for 3D modeling. Okay. So, I don't know whose idea it was, but uh, so it's much faster than trying to do. Anything else? So we moved those around. That looks good. Let's go ahead and move this. So we want to create some titles here, a title here, and the best way that I like to do it is just uh, do the move function, or I'm sorry, copy it, and let's uh, just we can specify this point here. Uh, let's do let's do this point just something that that'll bring it out you know we can button it up you know we can tidy it up no problem uh, later on we just want to make sure that it's sort of in line you know make sure it's sort of you know it's pretty pretty tidy it doesn't have to be perfect so right now I'm just uh, not using escape I'm just holding on to it and you can see all these are going to be in line with each other and come up here to edit and this is obviously lathe 2. Come up here. Edit. It's kind of lathe 3. All right. Let's go ahead and move this. Oop, sorry. Let's do that move function here. Yeah, I just kind of want to, you know, center it up just a little bit more. So eight probably will do it just fine. Oh, we want to, I'm sorry. Add lathe two. It's fighting me. Move. Two point four point three. You know, I'm not trying to get this perfect. You know, just uh, you know, close enough. I was real concerned with trying to align it, I would just put some reference lines real fast and then uh, get it going in that respect. So, one, two. okay, they look uh, pretty good there. All right, so we need to add just a single line of text here. So just, uh, well, before you do that, hit copy. Oh, sorry. Copy. And uh, sure, that looks good. Just bring that down. And let's just extend it to like uh, 45. edit 
And we want new assembly line. No miro dos. All right. Now we want to add some extra lines. So what I did here is I'm just flipping between you know, the drafting and the annotation, okay? So just select whatever setting to get you to annotation and find multi-line um, text, okay? And you're gonna wanna go ahead and just uh, find some sort of a, you know, a point to start off on because you can just easily, um, you know, just something arbitrary, it doesn't really matter. Because what's going to happen is now you can just you can you can tweak it and line it up with everything. Um, I just want to put this in. Okay, and you can see here over on the layers that just the color is, um, you know, it's like magenta or something, just turn it to white. That's perfectly fine. And we'll go ahead and edit this and control all, okay, standard. That's what we want. And let's just uh, let's go ahead and move this bad boy. Uh, let's just do four. Let's move it down to four. Just sort of something in the law, you know, a line along the lines of that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, not a big deal. So let's check this over. Let's see how we did. So we have this, 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 this. Alrighty. And that should be it. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and feel free to email, call, text, whatever. Um, you guys know how to fill this stuff out, right? Just uh, hit escape, edit, and Robert. And find out what lab you guys are in. Um, you'll either be in lab one, lab two, lab three. It's going to help me identify um, your papers so I can grade them for you.